We're back here on the program. If you watch this TV show, you've seen him on in the past. If you listen to the radio show, Strombo Show, Sunday nights on Radio 2, you know I'm a gigantic fan of Cardinal Official uh, as an artist, but also as a person. Cardinal's working with Free the Children to help build a school in Kenya. He's doing a lot of good work with them, and we've got our good friend Cardinal right here with us, man. How are you, sir? Good. Thank you, sir. Good, 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 good. You, um, you, you've been there, but you just got back, right? The yeah, summer? Yeah, what was yeah, it like? Yeah, yeah. It was, it, I'll tell you honestly, I had been to Kenya before, um, and yeah, actually, we came on the show. Remember, I was here with um, with World Vision. It was equally as amazing, but just in a different way. Going with the Kielbergers, first of all, I don't know where those guys come from. They're aliens of some sort because it's like first, like they're the nicest guys in the world. But you know, what happens is when you go to work with these different organizations, you start to try to you know filter it out and say okay where, where's the bad stuff like you know what i mean like that's where a natural human thing right the backlash part listen going to kenya with these guys going into the different communities was one of the most amazing experiences that i had because i just love their philosophies how they deal with the people and what i like is that they go in there to empower the different communities they don't solicit different places saying hey do you need our help like people come to them and they work with the communities yeah. so that they can have a sustainable Economy so it's a, a different experience for you then when yeah, you go into this context absolutely you, because it's like for me You don't feel like the person that's coming from North America to save the poor people or whatever like you go and you really work With the community, you know, what I'm saying and they have a real tight-knit beautiful community the thing is that to our standards we could never ever live like that, but to them it's like you see just this this nobility, you see this pride, you see this culture that they hold on to and, and they hold dear. And what's amazing is when Free the Children goes in there and works with them, what comes out of that is an amazing success that I think should be implemented in many different places around the world. You know, it, it, Cardinal's not new to this. He's been caring about other people for a long time. Watch this. You've done a, a rap song that's anti-drug. <laughs> Teens listen to messages like that even from a fellow team like you? Sure they do. Sure they do. It, it, the best. Um, it, 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 all, it all depends on, also on the music. Like, teens like to listen to music that their parents hate to listen to. Like, I'm sure if I was singing a country song about anti-drugs, like, they wouldn't listen to me and they'd think I was foolish. But if I come across, like, not only with a good message, but a good way of presenting it to teens that teens can associate with, then, you know, they'll listen and they'll take it into consideration. <laughs> 14, 14 years old, and have you by Barbara you know, Frum. Listen, you know, I was scared, can't yes. say the like, yeah. I was scared out of my mind for that. That is so hilarious. <laughs> you were 14. Oh, Has, that is um, classic. You, you obviously always cared, but what first connected you to that? Uh, to the free the children? No, no, not free the children. Just, just I, the idea of you got to be more than, than my mom. Yeah, my mom. Um, like, I was I was raised um, within the community, and my mom. You know, she used to work for the board of education. But my mom is somebody who really like really fights for the needs of the of the people that have no voice. So it's like for me, when you see your mom do that, you know, what I'm saying, and every day you're like, mom, pizza again, because she's at a meeting trying to make things better for the community. Like it just, you know, what I mean, it's something that's ingrained in you. And my family in general really just believe in trying to do better for others. You know what I'm saying? So for me, even as a celebrity, when I have the spare time, for me, it only makes sense to be able to try and give back really to the community, not just some random celebrity give back, but like right. really, you know what I mean, digging your feet in. I, 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 one of my favorite records you're on is you and Akon have that Graveyard Shift song where you even rap about some, some violence in the community and you even mention um, health care. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you're lucky that you even Akon have health care. used to make fun of me because he's like, you're always cursing out the government and <laughs> talking about blah, blah, blah. He's like, we got to keep it light, but no, nah, yeah. that's, that's just me. But that's at, at me. a certain point, especially as you get older and the more you travel, and see this world, yeah. you change as a person. Does it affect absolutely. the kind of art you want to make? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's 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 crazy um, because it's like as you get older, there's a lot of things that change. Like your priorities change. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm married. I have a family. Um, if you know, one just born recently, right? Yeah, 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 Happy yeah. Five weeks. Congrats, ago, man. So, yeah, it's awesome. So I mean, as you as you get older, your priorities change, and it's like you know, you've done the partying stuff. You had fun. Um, you always want to see the world because, you know what I mean, it just changes the way that you think. But it's like then you start to be able to take the time to uh, put into different initiatives. You know what I'm saying? So it's like 
now using your, your, your hip hop celeb, you can make giving back cool. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's like a lot of times people have no idea that it takes so little and you can do so much. And I mean, even when we went to Kenya, it was amazing. Like, um, Nelly Furtado, she's going to be hosting my my uh, yeah, that's event tomorrow night, right? my my event on uh, oh, Thursday, yeah, Thursday Thursday night yeah. Thursday night she's going to be hosting the event. I will see you there, sir. Nice, and you know she was opening it was the grand opening of a school that she built there. You know what I mean, like from the ground on up, and just seeing the school in Kenya, seeing the entire community come out for something. You know what I'm saying that she did like. It was, it was incredible to be overseas and just see the power of what Canadian artists can do around the world. It's interesting as you get older too, this idea of bravado doesn't mean the same thing it used to be, right? <laughs> when we're young, it's like, uh, present ourselves, but as you get older, it's like less about us and more about, it really yeah. becomes less about the me and more about the we. I mean, abso I mean absolutely, it's, it's one of those things, I mean, even, um, as a collective of musicians, like, it used to be about we, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, for this country, the, the, the big thing that pushed us forward was Northern Touch. Yeah. And it's like we realized the strength in numbers, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's kind of been there for a long time. Um, maybe just, you know what I mean, just in the shadows, we didn't really realize what it was. But now that I'm, that I'm older, I'm a grown man, and you can see really what it is. It's all about the strength in numbers, because here's the big thing is it doesn't really take a lot from one person. If everybody chipped in and just played their part, like, and came together, like, that, that force is immeasurable, you know what I'm right. saying? And so it's, and without Northern Touch and that whole thing, you don't create a space where a guy like Drake wouldn't be able to explode. I right? mean, Which it's, I mean, it's crazy, because it right? it's one of those ones, because before me, it was the Maestros, the Dream Warriors, Michi. you know, the Mishis, the Ghetto Concepts, you know what I mean, the Socrates, all those guys that made way for me. Then I went down and just kicked down the doors, you know what I'm saying, in America, and, and, and you know, showed them that we don't all live in igloos and blah, right. blah, blah. So now, you know what I'm saying, it, it's amazing that, you know, Drake has this great opportunity now. The doors are wide open and he's doing his thing. And imagine the person that comes after Drake. It's, it's going to be unbelievable. Inc it's going to be incredible. Well, you did break down those doors, man. You absolutely did. It's a wonderful card now. So the Free the Children campaign kicks off Thursday. It's Free the City Christmas Party That's in right. Toronto. Cardi will be there, of course, as you mentioned. Uh, Nelly Furtado as well. Uh, I'll see you there. I'll probably be wearing a Santa Claus hat. <laughs> it's always a play. Man, that 14-year-old you is amazing. Ah, <laughs> That's amazing. That's ama oh, man. Nice this, is, you, man. this is your life. This is totally. Cardi, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh,